Hey everybody, this is Will McAdam, founder of Privacy Duck, and I'm here today to talk about our continuing free opt-out resource series, our videos where we teach you exactly the process that we do in-house of opting out your personally identifiable information from these uh, invasive and dangerous people search sites that keep popping up. Right now, we're going to focus on one of the easiest to delete from, which is going to be idtrue.com. This is a site that is, it's been around for probably about two and a half years, um, but it's only in the last uh, six months really begin to rank pretty decently on Google. Um, and they do publish your relatives' names and you know more information like that, so as well as your address and your name, of course. So we want to make sure that's deleted. So the uh, only thing that you will need for email, um, sorry, for idtrue.com is going to be an email address we recommend you go to a site like emailanddeck.com, and that's what we're using today for our example. It's free, it's a disposable email, um, and you won't ever have to reference these emails from ID True again. So using this service is a really good way to uh, get out of using your day-to-day -day personal email, which you should not be doing for this process anyway. So. Once you go to emailanddeck.com and you obtain an email, and we do have a video about how to do that if you uh, would like some step-by-step -step help on that, uh, then navigate your way over to idtrue.com. If you want to, you can do a search for yourself um, first. You don't need to. You can also, um, the cool thing about this side is you can do a search for yourself and opt yourself out all in one step on one page. And so that's what we're going to do here. And that page is going to be idtrue.com backslash opt out. Super easy to remember on that one. So you'll search for yourself by your first and last name and your state. You might have you know some different states. So you might want to run more than one search for yourself and uh, feel free to repeat this process if you need to do that. But for our example here, let's use a John Smith in the state of, let's do Oklahoma this time. We usually do California, for example. So let's try Oklahoma this time. Um, but you, of course, want to you know, you know, use your, your actual name and your state because we're looking for your information. So um, once you put that information in there, go ahead and click on the green Remove button. And now you'll be taken to a page or brought to a page that has several listings for this John Smith in Oklahoma. And so some of them have the ages listed, but most of them have the main city, previous cities, as long as possible relatives. Um, this site does allow you to purchase a full report to get more detailed information about you. Um, but once we take these listings down, that will no longer be possible through this site. So let's, for the sake of demonstration, pretend that you are John E. Smith. So go ahead and click that record right there. You're John E. Smith from Lawton, Oklahoma. Go ahead and click on This Is Me. And that will bring you to a uh, page where you need to enter an email address. Now, this is the time where, again, you don't use your personal email address. Do not use that. Rather, go to one you made for this purpose, like our email on deck account. And go ahead and copy on that. And then paste it right in here and click that you confirm that you are the person or so-and-so. There's a little CAPTCHA, I'm not a robot. It will ask you to click on images of cars or street signs. Um, it might tell you you're wrong, like it just did for me um, a few times. It's really annoying, but just keep doing it three or four times. It takes some time, just, you know, um, it will work eventually. Once that's done and you have a green check mark, go ahead and click on Request Opt Out. And that will tell you that you have now been sent a confirmation email. Now, what I want to do here, because we did James Smith in Lawton, Oklahoma, is I want to go back and show you if we were to reload this page right now, John Smith from Lawton is no longer listed. That has already been deleted, even though we have not checked the confirmation email yet. That's weird, but I say this for a very important reason. Um, ID True is really sporadic on sending out their confirmation emails. Sometimes you get them, sometimes it takes five minutes, sometimes you never get them. 
but either way the record's still always gone. So if you do get a confirmation email, it's a good idea to still go ahead and click on that. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you might have more than one record on ID True. Or of course you might have lived in a different state with different records. So if that's the case, you will need to get a new email from email on deck. And you do that by clicking on forget this email and get another. And then it will take you through a similar CAPTCHA process and you repeat this process again. Now, the final thing to mince about ID True is you'll want to set a calendar reminder or just notate for yourself in whatever way works best for you um, to check back on the site in about two weeks and again in about six weeks. And the reason why I say that is because partial repopulations on this site where it might not be the full kit and caboodle of information like this, but it will just be partial records, is known to repopulate and known to happen, um, especially immediately after you delete your primary record. Um, and that is because these sites scrape from other sites. So what you'll really want to do is you'll want to go back to privacyduck.com and check out our free opt-out resources to see all the other sites and all the other instructions and videos we have. This is still a small list compared to the one that we're making that we're preparing in-house um, for you. Um, so keep checking on that list. This list will continue to grow. Those resources will continue to grow. Um, and we'll put that out here. Or also consider one of our paid opt-out services where we do the work on your behalf um, in a very, and report back to you in a very quick and efficient manner. And also feel free to check out our discount programs we have as well for people who are like you, a uh, person who uses our YouTube, you know, that automatically saves you 20% on all of our services with the YouTube discount. And we also have discounts going up to 60% for victims of domestic violence or cyberbullying or LGBTQ POC hate crimes. So please do look at those. Um, like, comment, and subscribe on our video and our channel. And if you have any questions about ID True or this video, how to go about it, please do give us a call at 415-320-1845 or send us an email at services at privacyduck.com. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.